Hello, my name is Mark Mace, and I'm doing a short tutorial here on how to set up a custom URL for Google Sites. I had somebody ask me about how to move the content from a Google Site over to their own hosting. I didn't find a way to do that, but what I did find was this custom URL. If you click on the more button here and then this custom URLs what you'll see is this you put in whatever your domain dot com now I'm going to use a domain that I own um, and I'm going to call it demo and the, the site is servergoon.com and it says the URL is not verified. So what we're going to have to do is a couple of different steps. And the overall process time for this is going to be about two hours, uh, depending on how often your DNS refreshes for your hosting. It'll be shorter or it could be longer. The hosting solution that I use is DreamHost. I've got the demo.servergoon.com. And I can't click assign because it's, it doesn't recognize it as being a valid domain name. So what I have to do is click on verify ownership. Now if I click on the drop down, I'll see a list of different providers. And DreamHost is not among those. There's a lot of others that are fantastic providers as far as I know. Uh, I've used a couple of these in here. I've heard of several of them. Um, so, but since mine isn't listed, I'm going to go down to other. The steps here say follow the steps below to create a, do a DNS domain name system. Now, I've already logged into DreamHost. And I've navigated to, I went to manage domains. And then under the server goon domain, I hit DNS. And this is where I'm going to actually enter in that information. I'm going to click back here real quick. And I want this copied. And it says to add a TXT record with the following value. I'm going to go back. The site I'm wanting to verify is demo. The type is text, and the value is that value I just copied. Uh, if we go back, I want to see that the front end looks right. It's verification. It's Google Site Verification. And I'm going to click Add Record Now. If I go back to the Google Site and click on Verify, it is not going to work right away. The DNS doesn't update immediately. There is an option up here to where I could refresh, but if I do that, in my instance, it only allows the refresh uh, DNS every 12 hours. So doing it once would might work out great right now, but then I lose that ability for 12 hours. So I'm going to wait. Uh, when I did this before, it took about 15 minutes. Might end up taking a half hour. Could be an hour. I don't know exactly how long uh, the records take. I don't know what the cycle is for DreamHost DNS, but we'll check back in 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been a little bit longer than 15 minutes, and just from doing this a couple different times, I think the DNS for DreamHost updates every hour at the half hour. So if that's correct, I'll be able to click on verify now, and it will work. Awesome. So this basically means that Google was able to reach out to demo.servergoon.com and get a response that it was expecting, a text response. The next thing we need to do is go back to your custom so we want to go to demo.servergoon.com. We can't, we can verify your ownership. It'll work now, right? Because we just tested that. 
But notice that it doesn't have the assign left in there, so I'm going to cancel. I'm going to go back up to the more, go to custom URLs, <clears throat> type in demo.servergoon.com, and I get this little check mark saying, hey, we recognize that site, and I'm going to click assign. Now, to finish this up, we have to do one more change to the DNS entry. And we do that. We, we click on Learn More to figure out how we do this. Um, and what we want to do, we just did this custom URL part. Now we want to do this number two. So we did a, a little bit reverse order, but it should be okay. Basically, this is saying go back into where we entered the text, and this time we're going to enter in a C name, and we're going to tell it to go and look for ghs.googlehosted.com um, as a C name for demo.servergoon.com. I'm going to go back to DreamHost, go down to where I have this record. It's already at demo. I'm going to put in C name. And I've already copied over, and I'm just going to paste in GSS, GHS, googlehosted.com. And I'm going to hit add record now. now. This is actually going to create an error. And basically, DreamHost doesn't let you put in multiple entries per domain. So demo.servergoon can only have one entry. And we set up that text entry so we could validate the that we own the domain. And in order to put in the C name, we actually have to delete the one that we put in to verify we own the domain. So I just clicked on delete. I'm going to click on OK. And we'll go back down here and say demo. And this time it's a C name. And we want rid of the verification. We want the ghs.googlehosted.com. And I'm going to click Add Record Now. What this does is it makes it so that when I go to demo.servergoon.com, it actually sends that request on to ghs.googlehosted.com. And it will serve up the page I designated on Google Sites. So I'm going to put in demo.servergoon.com, and we don't get a website. Now, the reason why we don't get a website is, once again, DNS isn't instantaneous. The records get refreshed, depending on what your DNS settings are, get re refreshed every period of time. Uh, in this case, I believe through DreamHost that they're on the half hour. I am going to come back in 24 minutes or so, which will be the top of the hour. Uh, check this out again and see if it'll work. If not, I'll wait until half past the hour and try it again. So when we ended last night, we had everything set up. And the only thing left was to actually wait for the DNS to refresh so that the name that we had set up would actually work. Um, obviously, it's a lot later than, or a lot earlier, as the case may be, than when we started out. Uh, but it's given plenty of time for the DNS to reload. So now if I go back to the demo.servergoon.com and hit refresh, we should now see the site. This is taking the demo.servergoon.com and telling it to deliver up what is on ghs.google sites, I believe was the URL that we entered.com. Uh, so whatever you put on here will work. And if I had links, it would go back and forth between whatever links. Um, but that's how you do it.